Hey guys, and welcome to a different type of video. Today, this isn't with any jokes, or at least not any apparent ones. We're actually going to be talking about... I don't feel safe in this neighborhood. I'll be back in a second, guys. Just, uh, give me a second. Where's your god now? Okay, as I was saying, we have a different type of video today. We're actually going to be talking about something in the game Fallout 3 which came out in 2008, which uh, includes a reference to a pretty famous poem or little uh, short story by Ray Bradbury called There Will Come Soft Rains. This is located in... This is located near Georgetown North uh, and can be counted pretty early in the game. So it's called the McClellan Family 2026 Bradley Place no solicitors, please. So, uh, we're solicitors, so, um... Can't escape me! Yeah, I'm running from the police. So, once inside, you actually notice that the house is pretty dusty. Like, uh, why are you still here? Chicago's a wonderful place. Okay, now I know we won't be interrupted. Once you notice, the house is pretty boarded up and pretty dusty, and it doesn't look like as if there's really anything of importance in here aside from a few items. So we're just gonna go in first person here. There's a, a little little book there that will increase your stats, but that's about it. Until you actually start exploring. So if you go to the house, uh, if you go from the door to the left, you'll actually notice this little room, which uh, includes a Mr. Handy. Now you can go to the little term terminal, and you can activate it, walk Muffy, pick up grocery order, read children bedtime poem, or the home security mode. So we're going to actually, um, walk Muffy. How may I serve you, master? So the mystery handy will activate, and it looks pretty good. So, it's gonna go over to the dog, so we'll be right back when it does. So now if we go to the back, where it goes, uh, it will go to this little, like, backyard, and it's going to walk Muffy, the dog. But it isn't at all like you'd think. Now we're actually going to go ahead and make him do a bedtime story for the children. So, there we go. There will come soft rains and the smell of the ground and swallows circling with their shimmering sound. And frogs in the pool singing at night and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire, whistling their whims on a low fence wire. And not one will know of the war, not one. We'll care at last when it is done. Not one would mind, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly. And spring herself when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone. How may I serve you, master? So if you didn't get that, that was actually the poem that you read in Ray Bradbury's There Will Come Soft Rains. It, it, uh, the poem, the short story, I mean, is actually about a family whose house takes care of them, but unknowingly, it's after the family had already died outside during a nuclear blast. So the house just takes care of itself and eventually burns down. Uh, because of just trying to take care of itself. And, uh, in, in this game, it actually has a double meaning. The, uh, because of the war that the Mr. Handy mentioned with the poem in the actual short story, uh, in Fallout, there was actually another war which only lasted for about two hours, which led to the destruction of the entire world save Ireland. So, it's basically kind of funny, I guess, but... It's really sad. So this is a McClellan household, which is just a big reference to it. And there's even more references in the game, including the Dunwich Horror Story, which is personally one of my favorites, uh, in this game and Fallout 4, so... <laughs> there is a lot of little references to this. And uh, I'm, um, I'm gonna go to sleep, so goodbye.